the cell potential of a voltaic cell, such as this zinc hydrogen cell, can be thought of as the sum of two half cell potentials. Under standard conditions, the cell potential, E0, is the standard reduction potential of the cathode minus the standard reduction potential of the anode. We can assign half cell potentials once we settle on a reference half cell potential. That has been chosen as the hydrogen half cell with one molar aqueous hydrogen ion and one atmosphere pressure of hydrogen gas. For the zinc hydrogen cell, the measured standard potential is 0.76 volts and the standard half cell potential for the cathodic half cell is defined as zero. Thus, the standard half cell potential for the anodic half cell is minus 0.76 volts. This is the standard reduction potential for the reduction of zinc plus two ion. Now let's consider the silver hydrogen cell. In this case, the hydrogen half cell is the anode. As before, the cell potential is the reduction potential for the cathode minus the reduction potential for the anode. Thus, the standard reduction potential for the silver-silver ion half cell is 0.80 volts. Proceeding in this way, it is possible to measure and tabulate standard half cell reduction potentials, such as these selected values. Remember that the standard half cell potentials are always defined for the half cell reaction written as a reduction. If the half cell reaction is reversed, the sign of the standard potential is reversed.